Okay, so in this problem, they're giving us a triangle, ABC, and they tell us that the length here of AB is 3 centimeters. And then we find out that, okay, so triangle DEF is similar to ABC. And DE has a length of 9 centimeters. So if the area of triangle ABC is 15 centimeters, what is the area of triangle DEF? And this is a fun problem because it, I think it really uses a basic properties of similar shapes and a basic idea when you rescale a shape or a side, what happens to the, to the area. First thing, as a reminder, when they tell us that a triangle DEF is similar to triangle ABC, then we can assume that D maps to A and E maps to B and F maps to C. In other words, line segment DE is then the same cor it corresponds to the side AB of this triangle right here. So since triangle uh, DEF is larger, right, we, and I'm actually going to draw it smaller here because I don't have room, but it will look the same as ABC, except larger, right? It's similar, and DE will be set right here in the corresponding location of AB, and that's 9 centimeters. So here's DEF. And we're told that the area of triangle ABC, the area here, is 15 centimeters. So what is the area of DEF? Well, first of all, let's find what's called the scale factor. And that's the number, or one way to say it, is that it's the number that you multiply each side by in a shape to make a new shape or similar shape. What number are you scaling it up or down by? And it usually relates to multiplication. So here I'm taking three groups of this side or multiplying it by 3 to get this side length right here, right? Because 3 times 3 is 9. So our scale factor is 3. And since the shapes are similar, remember similar shapes, every side is growing proportionally. So we can assume that everything is grown by a factor of 3. Also, in similar shapes, we can assume these angles are all the same. Because if they weren't, they wouldn't be similar shapes. That being said, what happens to the area? Well, the area actually grows by uh, the formula where you take the scale factor and you square it, multiply it by area 1, what you're starting with, and you'll get the second area of the next triangle. So here, right, the scale factor is 3. That squared is 9. Times our first area will give us our second area, and that's the area of triangle D, E, F. So really, this is 9 times 15. Right, and what's that? What's well, 135? So the area of triangle DEF is 135 square centimeters. Let's just talk about uh, why this makes sense. Why we square the scale factor when when area grows, and we'll look at a a rectangle, the simple example. So if I have this rectangle right here, and it's two by four, well, if I double each side, what happens? The bottom will become eight, and the top will become four. So we've made it twice as tall and twice as wide, but now when I complete the shape, look at how much larger it has become. And this is just a rough sketch, but you can see that basically four of the original rectangles will fit in this larger rectangle that we've made. So our scale factor was two. And the area became four times bigger. We started here, we have now we have one, two, three, four. So really, if the scale factor is 2, our area becomes 4 times bigger. And we can keep going with this idea. And actually, let me make some room for it just a little bit further. In our case, the scale factor was 3. So if you can imagine tripling this length down here. And then, again, so originally it was 2, now it's 6 up for a height. And the, the width was 4, now it's 12. And now you can see that and this is just a rough sketch, of course, but here we took our original rectangle and now there's nine of them to fill in the area of the new shape. So when our scale factor was three, right, the area became nine times larger. And we can keep going with this. And if you made a little chart with a scale factor of one column and the amount the area grew, you would notice that, well, when the scale factor was two, the area grew by four. When the scale factor was three, the area grew by nine, and so forth. Eventually, you realize, oh, if the scale factor uh, is n or anything, the area is going by n squared. And I guess part of the reason this is working, or the way I see it, is that 
area is in two dimensions, it's really a matter of length times width, or some combination of multiplying two dimensions. And when you apply the scale factor, you apply it to both dimensions, both width and height. So you apply it twice. So really, if you picture the formula of a, a rectangle as length times your scale factor, that becomes the new length, and then times width times your scale factor, we're going to draw a little arrow over here, we're multiplying the area, the original area, length times the width by scale factor twice. So now our new shape becomes length times width times scale factor squared. And that's just that's another way of saying our original formula, which was that take the original area, multiply it by your, your scale factor squared, and that will give you your new area. So just be careful when you're counting area. Remember, it, it grows um, exponentially in a way related to the, the scale factor. All right, hope that helps.